Many students try to memorize this with uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared and it will make it so much easier to do this question. Finding the long side or the hypotenuse or finding one of the shorter sides. So this is what you need to memorize. Hello everyone. Welcome to GCSC Maths Exam Hack Series. Many students try to memorize this with uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared or a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared or whatever the letters they use, x, y and z and all that. However, there is a very simple fact that you need to understand and it will make it so much easier to do these questions. So, there are only two types of questions that you can get in these type of Pythagoras questions. So, for example, they can give you this as 3 centimeters, this as 4 centimeters, and ask you to find the longer side. Or they can give you the long side here as 10 centimeters, and let's say this one is 8 centimeters, and they can ask you to find one of the shorter sides. We have two shorter sides, one of them. That's all you can get. So, the two types of questions are finding the long side or the hypotenuse or finding one of the shorter sides, as you can see on the right hand side. Now, there is a specific way of memorizing this for each type. And once you master this technique, you can do it in seconds really easily. So this is what you need to memorize. So for the first type, square both, so square both numbers, three and four. So square the three and square the four. Okay. Then you add the two and then square root that. Now, 3 squared is 9, add 16, square root, which is square root of 25, and we know the answer here is 5 centimeters. Square both, add and root. If you're finding one of the shorter sides, what you do, you square both. However, always start with the bigger one. So the bigger one is 10. So 10 squared, 8 squared. Instead of addition, this time you take away and then square root. 10 squared is 100. Take away 64. Square root of 36. And your answer is simply 6 centimeters. Done. And this works for any right angle triangle. Let's consolidate this idea with four examples. Now, these are just examples, so please don't worry about trying this. Just watch this. I'll give you questions to try after these four. So, first one. Am I finding the longer side or one of the shorter side? Obviously, the longer side. So, I'm going to go with the first version. So, square both. 3 squared, 5 squared. Add them up and root it. So, I get the answer. 5.83 centimeters. It's very easy. Look at the second one. We are again finding the longest side. So it's the first one. So square the 7, square the 10, add them up and root it. 12.2 centimeters done. Look at the third one now. We are finding still the longest side. So what do we do? We just add them up. So square it, 6 squared, 8 squared, add and root it. So that is exactly 10 centimeters. Look at the last one. Now this time we already know the hypotenuse. The longest side is 13 and we are finding one of the shorter side. So what do we do? Square both but remember the big one first. So 13 squared, 12 squared, Square both, take away and root it and you get 5 centimeters as the final answer. Now, although we use this technique to get the answers quickly in an exam, you also need to know the underlying principle behind Pythagoras theorem, where it comes from. And here's a video that explains exactly how it is done. Have a look at it after this video so you can learn where it comes from. Well, here are three questions for you. Pause the video and try them. You can use a calculator and use the wording about to help you. Let's check the answers. First one, we are finding the longer side. So obviously, square both, add and square root. Let's do that. 9 squared, add 12 squared, and then root it. You get 15 meters. Done. Look at the second one. 
we know the hypotenuse, the longer side, we are finding one of the shorter sides. So obviously now we are going to the second one on the right hand side. So square the big one, square the other one, take away and root and you get 15 meters done. Last question, again we are finding a shorter side, so it's one on the right hand side. Square both, starting from the big one, take them away and root it. And this time you get a decimal 15.5 meters. Done.